Hi everyone and welcome to Amma's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make spinach soup with soybean paste which is called shigumchikguk in Korean. Vegetarians can skip the anchovy and it will taste good. Enjoy and be healthy. Hi Hannah, this is also for you. Actually today I'm making a couple of videos for you. A couple of the stuff that you want me to make. This is spinach. It's two bunch. It was on sale. 69 cents a bunch. Well, so, this one I'm gonna show you how to make shigum uh, I'm gonna remember how you call me. It's like, mommy, I have this really delicious leafy miso soup type of Korean soup, and I really like it, but it's not the same as the one I see on the video. Can you teach me how to make that? So, now, um, shigum chikuk. It's going to be the same ingredient. This is how this is a basic. I'm going to just teach you how to do a basic. And you could do this with the uh, bok choy, you can do this with the uh, pupechu, pechu, collard green, kale, mustard green, any green leafy vegetables. You could cook it this way. It's very easy. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing is first you have to know how to clean this thing. I'm going to cut out the end and take out any bad parts in here, okay? And just let it sit. Um, any dead leaves or whatever. And this one has a lot of dirt, so we need to rinse it. But you know how to do this, right? In Korean, you say, um, well, I forgot how to say it. Oh, God, I'm getting old. Okay, so first we're going to rinse it. This is perfect to eat at any time with any any food. Look at all the dirt coming out. Sophie, do you hear the music? That's NTV. This is the gift that you guys got for me before you went to Korea. See? I don't have to see the music. I could hear it. And this makes it easy for me to be in the kitchen. Otherwise, I have to think of something. And it's don't want to think when I cook. So, Okay, girls. Today I'm going to share, share about denjang because denjang is very important for Korean dish. This one I bought it today. Well, actually I bought it, yeah, um, it was on sale. $7.99 for the 3 kilogram. I don't know what 3 kilogram means because I think that's in... Well, anyway, see how the denjang in this one is a um, little darker than champagne color light brown uh, I what I like to do with it is I will buy tenjang darker brown, darker color and light brown and then I will mix it and then it looks like this this is my one of the plastic container that I recycled and I kept it and how you see how mommy's tenjang color is darker because what I did with it was I bought the dark color tenjang and I mixed it and because I'm very picky about the tenjang because a lot of the times when you go eat at the restaurant, the tenjang jjigae is too sweet. See, this is mommy's color. See the difference? See? Well, look, see, you see the light color and the darker color? It's kind of mixed up. So, when I cook it that way, it just makes it taste like good old fashioned homemade style. So, everybody asks me, where do you get the tenjang? And I, they ask me, what brand do you use? I just use whatever the sale brand that's out there. I just mix it with the darker brand. Because this one tastes a little sweeter. I don't know why it's so sweet. Nowadays, all the food are just made too sweet. Even tenjang. I remember when, when my mom and dad, when my mom used to make tenjang, it was never this sweet. It was just salty. Now, this one is the one that I mixed up. See, it's not that sweet because I mixed it with the darker brown. So, um, I'm going to measure this. You know, mommy never measure anything. I'm going to try this one. Sometimes what I do is I experiment with different tenjang to see which one's the better one. But then again, I, I bought every brand in the market one time. And I experimented with it. And they all kind of taste the same. The thing is, 
just the darker color and the lighter color. You just buy both of them and then mix it. And then to make that looks good. Okay, now, first thing we do. Now, this is what you should have done first before you rinse the spinach. Because boiling the water takes a long time. So, I got my four glass cup here. Okay, you see this one? I don't know how many years I had this. Um, if you don't have this, you could use a coffee filter. Or you could just put the anchovy in there and boil it first. Um, you guys would like to see the fish eyes or whatever. And you know, you know when you were baby, when you guys were baby, you didn't know that I cooked it with the anchovy. Because I put it in this little, I don't know what, what to call this stuff. Um, put about, depends on the anchovy. I bought this anchovy. Um, this is a smaller, about that size, see? That's what you use, make chicken stock with. And I, some people like to put the fish in there and let the people eat the fish. That's actually a good idea. Problem is my kids don't like it that way. So what I'm doing, see that? Look how cute that is. I think I had this for like, I don't know, 20 years. You let this sit. And that way, all the fish stuffs are not gonna go anywhere. And I actually like to keep it in there all the way until I cook. Waters are already a little bit boiling. Well, it's not boiling yet. But you could still put this in. And we're gonna just let this kinda boil. Now I got eight cups of water here. I have the anchovy, depends on how many you wanna put in. If it's a bigger one like that size, put about three or four. There's no right or, right or wrong way of doing this. If you put too much, you're wasting it. So, And we're going to let this boil. I want the anchovy and the soybean paste to cook together. And we'll close the lid and let it boil. Okay. Wow. See? I could smell. Now for vegetarians, you don't have to put the anchovy, you just pour the water and put tenjang, which is the soybean paste. Mine is mixed between the darker one and the lighter color. This is more like a miso soup. So, but my, I think this is what my daughter wanted me to make, so I'm making it. Hopefully this is the right, right kind. One cup of um, soybean paste and eight cups of water. Being boiling, this, it's been boiling about 10 minutes more you boil, it gets saltier, so. Now I'm gonna put spinach. I like to put a lot of spinach in mine. See, this is two bunch. For you, Hannah, uh, one bunch will be okay for you too, but spinach really, when you cook it for a while, it goes away. <laughs> and you end up just eating miso soup with no vegetable, and you know me. So I'm making it real basic. You could put mushroom if you want to. You could put bean sprout, soybean sprout. You could add a lot of things to this. But I'm just going to show you the, the minimum, the most basic way to make this. See, where did all that spinach go? See, it all went in here. And it's still going to shrink more. And I'm going to let this cook. You can put uh, garlic in it too. Sometimes I put garlic, sometimes I don't. So, now garlic fights the cholesterol, garlic's good for cholesterol, so I'm just gonna put some in. But I actually like it without the garlic in it. Mmm, it's good. Okay, I'm gonna let this boil. And I'm gonna put now this is a uh, medium sized uh, onion. I'm gonna put half onion. You know what? I'm gonna put 
know what? Just for you guys' sake, I'm just going to see how many cups. It might be easy for you. Now this one, I'm just going to slice it thin. Chikungunya doesn't take too long to cook. So, it's more like a Korean instant soup. <laughs> okay, let's see how many. Hey, that's about half cup, I think. No, one cup. About a cup. Less than a cup. And green onion. Slice it. My knife is not that sharp. Not a good news. I'm putting a lot of green onion on this one today because it was on sale and, then, and it's a lot of green onions right now. So I'm taking advantage of it and I'm putting a plenty of them. It doesn't hurt to eat a lot. So Now, you could put half of this too. So I think that's probably going to be almost two cups all chopped up okay cook this is cook shigumchi cook not jjigae last time you were making tenjang jjigae jjigae is the condensed one and soup cook is the less condensed usually um, when you go when you when other when you go to other people's house they put half bunch one bunch in there me i think two bunch is good more vegetable the better and now I'm gonna put all the round onion and green onion now I don't put round onion usually I just put green onion and that's it but today I'm just gonna put some round onion because it was already there and hmm. I like to eat a lot of a lot of vegetables so And let this cook for about another 5-10 minutes and we're done. This is instant soup. Doesn't take too long to make it. And you don't make this really salty because you could you eat this with the rice. Probably so if it's the weather's cold, this will be perfect for you to eat in the morning. So let me see. Now the round onion is going to sweeten the food a little bit. So I don't have to put meaty or anything in it. And um Hi handsome. I'm making shigumchi cook for Hannah. Oh, okay, good. How was the workout, Hansom? Oh, very good. Alright. Okay. Food? It's been boiling for about five minutes. And see mommy's uh <laughs> fish stock. I'm still the longer you cook. You don't have to throw it away. Sometimes you know what I do? I drain all the juice out. And then um, if I have to make... You know how mommy cooks a whole bunch of food at one day? It's like once a week I cook a lot of food. And then I eat the whole... The cook that food a whole week. And I make another soup with this one. Just make sure you put them in the refrigerator. Or use it right away. Don't let it sit in the refrigerator for a long time. Now this is all cooked. So let me taste. Pedro, come over here for a second. Uh -huh. Tell me what you think about this. I didn't put no garlic on mine. Okay. Taste and see. Okay, let me taste it. Okay. Lower that. It was on high heat all the time. So let me see your hands. Um, how is it? Is it salty? No, it's not salty. It's good. I like it. You like it? Yeah, I don't like salty. So. I didn't put no garlic. You think I should put some garlic in so that you could put more healthier? You can, I can put it in later, huh? Yeah. No, you don't put it later on, handsome. No. Oh, it's nice good, food, huh? huh? Hannah, like this one, you're going to like it because it's not spicy. I oh, didn't put any up. jalapeno. I didn't put any spicy stuff at all. This only got, yeah, very little ingredient. Simple yes, the better. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I didn't put anything. Yeah, very simple the better. Sim lots of spinach for me. Yeah, don't yeah, don't don't make it like cook. I put it more like jjigae cook because I like a lot of spinach on mommy soup. And that way you're eating very well in the morning. 
This is not going to give you bad breath either because I didn't put any garlic. <laughs> That's the shigum chigu. It's healthy for you, very easy, quick and easy. It's, this is what I call instant soup. Only thing that's not instant about the shigum chigu or the spinach soup is that you have to rinse the spinach. So if you buy the one from Costco, those packaged one, that's real instant because everything's all done in it. You could cook this in about um, 15 minutes, 30 minutes maximum preparation and everything. So. All right. Now, tell me how this turned out, Hannah. Sophie, I think you're gonna like this, too, even though you don't like soup. She'll like it, Mama. Huh? She'll like it. She will like it or she won't like it. She won't. Okay. So Crystal says you won't like it. Try it anyway. It's good for you. Love you.